Whenever we unfreeze it, it should start moving again. Uh, I don't think so, because she did work on it when she cast the spell. But I didn't see her do any work, though. Yeah, but she has to rest before she casts it. Maybe we shouldn't even worry about conserving momentum because it's a magic spell. I don't care if there's magic in this universe or not. We still must conserve momentum. Oh, a course on mechanics? Yeah, we have one of those. Physics 101X, it's an introductory calculus-based mechanics course. It'll cover kinematics, which is the mathematical description of motion. We'll talk about forces and how forces affect motion. And we'll talk about the concepts of energy and momentum and how they're conserved and how we can use that to solve problems. Hey, Hafner, you want to come lecture these orcs to sleep so we don't have to fight them? Funny. Actually, orcs prefer my lectures because that's how they build all those trebuchets. Then we'll move on to rotational motion, which is really the same concepts of kinematics, energy, and momentum, but to describe, you know, things that spin. We'll also cover static equilibrium, collisions, gravitation, and I'll try to spice things up with a little bit of special relativity, and of course, my favorite Tycho Brahe story. The nose? No, not the nose. Wild parties? No, not the wild parties. The psychic jester? No, I'm going with the moose. Oh, yeah. So there's going to be online lectures, a discussion forum, homework problems, conceptual problems, two exams. I hope to see you there. So now I want to use my glaive as a moment arm to get sufficient mechanical advantage to open that trap door. The DM's a chemist. Oh, great.